Blue Origin has been making headlines for its failures and launch delays far more than for its successes. Their repeated delays have made it difficult for people to trust their announcements anymore. Earlier this year, Jeff Bezos announced that the new Glenn rocket would launch for the first time by the end of 2024. However, it now seems this launch will face multiple delays before it can finally lift off. Serious problems with New Glenn's development make it highly unlikely that it will launch in 2024 at all. In today's video, we'll discuss these problems and whether Blue Origin can realistically launch anytime soon. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on important developments in the space industry. On paper, New Glenn looks like an outstanding heavy lift launch vehicle with specifications that could rival some of the best rockets in the industry. It stands 313 feet tall with a diameter of 23 feet and is capable of delivering more than 45,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit and 13,000 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit. Its first stage is powered by seven BE-4 engines, generating a combined thrust of 3.8 million pounds at liftoff. The stage is designed to be reusable for up to 25 missions landing vertically on a ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean, similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9 booster recovery system. The second stage uses two BE engines, optimized for vacuum operation, burning liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen to produce a combined thrust of 173,000 pounds. This design theoretically allows New Glenn to deliver payloads to a variety of orbits. However, despite these impressive specifications, New Glenn has yet to match its paper potential. The rocket, which began development in 2016, has faced numerous setbacks and delays, preventing it from making its maiden flight. Unlike its competitors, such as SpaceX's Falcon Heavy or NASA's Space Launch System, New Glenn has remained grounded for years, primarily due to technical issues and delays in engine development. One major issue has been the BE engines. These engines, which power both New Glenn and United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur, have faced significant delays during development. Even after years of development, Blue Origin only delivered the first flight-ready BE-4 engines to United Launch Alliance in 2022, well behind schedule. It's not just the engines. New Glenn is now facing bigger problems with its hardware. Reports indicate that Blue Origin has recently encountered two significant failures that damaged key rocket components intended for upcoming launches. In one incident, a section of New Glenn's upper stage crumpled due to worker error. The hardware was moved from a humid outdoor environment into an air-conditioned storage facility without proper ventilation or pressure release valves. The sudden change in pressure caused the structure to collapse inward, similar to a crushed soda can. This kind of error points to lapses in handling procedures and quality control. In another incident, a different upper stage component failed during stress testing. The hardware was pushed to its limits to identify weaknesses, but instead of withstanding the test, it resulted in an explosion. This suggests possible flaws in the rocket's design or materials used for construction. If these issues are not addressed, they could lead to catastrophic failures during launch. A structural collapse or upper stage failure during flight could result in the loss of payload and the vehicle itself. Beyond technical challenges, Blue Origin must navigate complex regulatory processes to secure a launch license for New Glenn's maiden flight. Obtaining a license for a new rocket that has not flown before is a difficult process. The Federal Aviation Administration conducts extensive reviews to ensure public safety. Without this regulatory clearance, even if a rocket is technically ready, it cannot proceed to launch. For new rockets like New Glenn, which have no flight history, the FAA requires a lot of data to verify the vehicle's reliability and safety measures. SpaceX's Starship faced similar hurdles. SpaceX waited nearly a year to get the launch license for Starship's first integrated test flight. The FAA finally issued the license on April 14, 2023, after detailed safety, environmental, and policy reviews. The delay was due to the need for extensive evaluations of Starship's new design and its potential environmental impacts. As of now, 
Blue Origin has not received the necessary FAA license for New Glenn's first flight. Without this approval, the rocket cannot launch, no matter how ready it is technically. In contrast, competitors like SpaceX have achieved significant milestones, showcasing rapid development and frequent launches. As of November 26, 2024, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket completed its 400th successful mission. A key factor in SpaceX's success is the reusability of its rocket boosters. On December 4, 2024, a Falcon 9 booster was launched and recovered for a record 24th time. SpaceX's Starship program has also made notable progress, conducting six test flights to date. The fifth flight, in particular, garnered global attention for its groundbreaking success. On October 13, 2024, SpaceX launched Starship from its Starbase facility in South Texas. After propelling the upper stage toward its intended trajectory, the Super Heavy booster executed a controlled return to the launch site. In a historic first, the booster was caught mid-air by the launch tower's mechanical arms, known as Mekazila, eliminating the need for traditional landing legs. The sixth test flight, conducted on November 19, 2024, further demonstrated Starship's capabilities. The upper stage performed a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean, validating improvements in heat shielding and re-entry procedures. However, SpaceX opted not to attempt a booster catch during this flight, the focusing instead on refining other mission parameters. Looking ahead, SpaceX is preparing for its seventh Starship test flight, targeting a launch in early 2025. A significant milestone in these preparations was achieved on December 9, 2024, when SpaceX conducted a static fire test of the Super Heavy booster designated for this mission. During this test, all 33 Raptor engines were briefly ignited at the company's Starbase facility in South Texas. The upcoming flight will utilize Ship 33, marking the first deployment of a Block 2 upper stage paired with Booster 14, a Block 1 vehicle. In October 2024, Ship 33 underwent cryogenic testing to assess its structural integrity under extreme cold conditions, while Booster 14 completed similar cryogenic tests and a successful spin prime test in the same period. These tests are essential to ensure the components can withstand the rigors of launch and space environments. According to documents filed with the Federal Aviation Administration, Flight 7 is targeted to lift off from Texas in the early morning hours of January 11, 2025. This timing will allow a NASA aircraft to capture and record thermal imagery of Starship's re-entry, which will occur during nighttime over the Indian Ocean. The mission will focus on improving key parts of the Starship system based on what SpaceX learned from earlier flights. For the Super Heavy booster, the plan is to launch and then have it descend into the Gulf of Mexico after stage separation. This will help SpaceX test the booster's engines, grid fins, and landing process. The goal is to make sure the booster can land accurately so that, in future flights, it can be caught by the launch tower's arms, known as Mechazilla. For the Starship upper stage, SpaceX will try another controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean. Changes have been made to the heat shield and re-entry process based on the results of the last flight. This test will check if these improvements work and if the ship can handle the heat and pressure of re-entry. Musk has said that this will likely be the last ocean landing. If things go well, future tests will try to catch the upper stage using the launch tower's arms. After the splashdown, engineers will check the ship for any damage and make fixes if needed. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.